welcome back and I hope you're well. I thought I'd start this video with no makeup because in front of me I have my everyday makeup products which actually is quite a lot of makeup. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I wear it, what I do every day. So this is a non-Instagram trend <laughs> makeup look, I will work on the title I promise, of products that give you a nice healthy, dewy, just good complexion, a good glow about you, something you can wear every day. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Um, also, I do have a headband because I cannot put makeup on when I have my hair in my face. First up, moisturiser. I have already moisturised my skin because when I get out of the shower, it's the first thing I have to do. This one is the Simple Kind of Skin Replenishing Rich Moisturiser. I have used that moisturiser for years. <laughs> and then next up, I'm going to use the Pixi Rose Glow Mist, mostly because I just love how it feels on my skin. Like, it just makes me feel a bit more refreshed. Oh, and it's super cold as well, so I feel like it wakes my skin up. I've been using this every day, and you can also use it throughout the day as well. But yeah, I really like this. It has seven flower oils, um, and it smells like rose, and I just feel like it's very refreshing. So... Love this product by Pixi. So next up, I'm actually gonna apply a bit of concealer because my fake tan has worn off and I've got big baggy eyes. So this one is the Benefit Brightening Concealer. Um, again, I've had this one for quite a while. I just really like how this feels on my skin. It's not too kind of cakey either. Put this under my eyes just to give me a little bit extra kind of coverage there as well. Um, and then, just to kind of prime my skin, I've done this in the wrong order completely, but um, <laughs> I'm going to prime my skin now that I've done my concealer. And I've been using this product by Milk Makeup. It's the Watermelon Brightening Serum. Um, I got these through as a press um, sample kind of pack that bloggers get quite a lot. Um, so it is a gift and I do get a lot of makeup. Sometimes it makes it into my makeup drawer. Sometimes I kind of save it and use it later on. Um, but I saw someone on Instagram using this, and oh my god, guys, it literally feels amazing. It's like really cold on your skin. I've not kept it in the fridge either, so I don't know how it's cold. But when you like rub it over your skin like this, it's so refreshing. And I just kind of like dab it in a little bit as well. Um, but I've been using it as a primer, and it actually works really well. Like, my makeup stays on all day. I'm really big on primers, and even though this is a serum... I just feel like it really works. So yeah, if you like really kind of cold, wake me up in the morning, refreshing products, definitely give this a go. I'll leave the link to it below if I can find it online. Um, but when this runs out, I'm gonna have to repurchase it because I just love how it feels on my skin. I'm gonna put my little um, my little towel on my lap like a child. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to use some foundation. Now, I mentioned this foundation on Instagram and everyone was like, yes, I want to see what this foundation is like. This is by a brand called CYO um, and it's a long-lasting foundation. I picked this up in Boots. Actually, my mum picked some up in Boots and I copied her. <laughs> I've used it once before and I really liked it, but I thought I would use it again in this video just to double check that I like it because I think I had fake tan on and I feel like when you've got fake tan on, your makeup always goes like so much better um, and obviously because it's just a makeup brand where you kind of match yourself um, I'm not sure if I got the colour right so we'll give this a go anyway it was seven pound which I think for a foundation is really good um, and I'm applying it with a damp Real Techniques blending sponge I'm so into using a sponge for makeup at the moment I go through phases where I'm like using a brush I used to use my fingers a lot um, but now I'm back on the sponge. The only thing with a sponge that I used to do wrong was I never really used to know about having to wet it and make it damp. So it would literally be like smacking myself in the face with a rock. Um, so if you do have a sponge at home and you've never tried it damp, definitely give it a go. All you need to do is just pop it under like your sink and um, fill it up with water and it kind of expands big and then squeeze all the excess water out and it will stay um, damp for a couple of days as well. And not only that, it also is another thing that I love to do in the morning because it's damp and cold. It just feels really like refreshing. And yeah, I really like that. I think I might need a little bit more of this. It's quite a light to medium coverage, but I think you can build it up quite well, which I prefer. I like building up my foundations more than putting one on that's really thick. So this is right up my street really like this foundation even 
though I've laid this up, it's all on my earring, even though I've laid this up, I don't feel like it's caked up or anything, which is really good. If you're wondering, I have got the shade, oh my goodness, what is the shade? 104, and I would say it's kind of like a beigey, cool tone. I think. So concealer, I need some more concealer on my eyes. I'm just gonna use this one, which is the collection Last Imperfection, and it's in Extra Fair Zero, which I love the fact that this is so light because I have got quite a pale complexion. So I need something a little bit lighter for me under eyes. Um, I'm just gonna put this on round here with my finger, and then under here, I'm just gonna tap it in. I always use this finger, my ring finger, because apparently it's got the lightest touch. Um, I've always done that. I think it's probably something I learned along the way. <laughs> and sometimes if it hasn't blended so well, I'll go back in with my beauty blender and I'll just kinda gently tap it in a little bit, just to kinda blend it in with my foundation because obviously it's a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna use some powder just to set under my eyes. I've got the number seven um, loose powder, which I've used for years again. I think my mum got me into this powder when I was younger and I literally have just never swayed away from it, really. I've tried other powders, but I always end up coming back to this one. Just put a little bit in the lid and then I use the little thing I've got here with it, blow it off a bit, and then I'm just gonna tap this under my eye, like so. It looks a bit weird at the moment, if you can see that, but I'm just going to use some cream products on my cheeks, so I don't want to powder my whole face yet. So, next up I'm going to use this, and this is by Milk again, it's the same brand that do the watermelon serum, um, and this is a cream blush, I would say, and this is in the colour Work, which is this really nice kind of burgundy pink tone, which I love. Um, I'm just going to pop it on my hand, which actually is good because it can, you can see the colour, there you go. Really nice and dewy as well. And then I'm going to tap my fingers in it, and then apply to my face. And I kind of apply this to like the apples of my cheeks, so when you smile, you just wanna apply it. And then upwards, rather than going down, you wanna go up, just to kind of lift your face a bit. So then I'm going to finish off my face by just kind of setting it. Um, I'm just gonna use the remainder of the product in the lid, and then I'm just gonna literally go over my face very gently with my powder just to set my foundation. Now, some people don't like to set their foundation like this, but it's just, with me, I think it's a habit. I have to set it. Otherwise, I feel like I'm sticky all day and I just don't like that feel. Like I said, my fake tan has worn off a little bit. I'm just gonna use some bronzer and I've got my Rodial, um, the Icons Collection palette, which is an absolute state because I use it every day. I love these two for bronzer. One is kind of warm brown and the other one is kind of like an ashy brown. And mixed together, I feel like I get the perfect bronzer color. And I just like to put that here on my cheekbones and then on my forehead and then sometimes go down my nose and on my jawline. Um, sometimes I will go crazy with the bronzer. Depends what I'm doing, where I'm going, how brown I want to look. Um, usually if I'm filming, I'll add a little bit extra because you can't always see it on camera. Also in this palette, I'm going to use these two tones, which are a gold highlighter and a white highlighter. Um, and I like to mix them together. And I'm just using a Zoeva brush for this. This is my 1T7. And I just literally put a little bit over my cheekbones and run it up towards my eyebrow. Same on this side, run it up towards your eyebrow. And then you can even go a little bit down your cheek as well, just to give a bit of a healthier glow. Not too much though. And then the same, a little bit on my chin, a tiny, tiny bit down my nose, just to give a little bit of a healthy glow there. And then I just kind of use the rest on the brush, just on my eyebrows, forehead, and just anywhere you would naturally get a little bit sweaty in the gym. That's basically what I think. I think maybe I'll do my brows. Um, I've actually been using a new brow product, a new brow combination um, recently. 
Um, so I'm just going to brush them through. I have been using this product which is called Micro Tattoo. It's by L'Oreal Paris and it's actually a pen. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'll do a little close up for you. It's basically a pen that has four little nibs. So when you, I mean mine's running out a bit now. When you draw on your hand, you get kind of like little lines. So it looks like your brows have been microbladed. The only thing with a pen is that it does obviously run out, whereas a pencil you can kind of sharpen it a lot more. So that's the only downside. Maybe it doesn't last as long. What I do is here, I just kind of draw the pen upwards to kind of follow the natural shape of my brow. Like I have a lot of lines here that do go upwards. Um, so that's just what I kind of tend to do and then I just carry the pen all the way down and just fill out any kind of gaps in my brows and as you can see it's a very discreet filling in of my brows but compared to this one it has got a bit more thickness and a bit more I guess it's a little bit more defined okay so then I'm just going to brush them through again and then I'm actually going to use another product and then I'm going to run through Gimme Brow by Benefit, which is basically mascara for your eyebrows. And then you can literally just run this through your brows. Just to keep all of the hairs in place and also fill in any extra gaps that maybe you couldn't do with the pen. And it just keeps your brows in place. Okay, so next up, eyeshadow. I'm actually going to use this little palette, which is by Zoe Sugg, Zoella. Um, it's her launch with Colourpop. And oh my God, guys, honestly, my favourite palette of the moment. It's so pigmented. Um, I'm actually going to go in and use a base colour from this, which is this one. And this is called Champagne Toast. It's a really lovely, kind of like a nudey shimmery pink tone and I'm just going to literally dab a massive brush this looks quite big um, and then like blow off the excess product these are so pigmented these shadows and I'm just going to run that all over my lid like so hopefully you can see yeah look how pigmented that is um, just to give like a really nice kind of base colour and actually if I didn't want too much going on with my eyeshadow I would just leave with this colour on, it's so pretty. It's kind of like highlight for your eyes. And um, I really, really love using it. It's really nice in the inner corner of your eyes as well. Then I'm actually gonna go in with, I can't remember what it's called, oh. With my tiny little MAC palette that I made like so long ago, I probably need to repurchase all of these ones because they're a little bit old. But I've been loving this one again. And this is called Club by MAC. I'm just gonna go in with my Zoeva brush. This is the Crease Brush 228. Absolutely love the size of this brush. Just go in with this color. Now, if you went and saw this in MAC, you'd be like, I'm not buying that. What is she on about? It looks green. It looks green, but honestly, it kind of changes to brown when you put it on your lids. And I love it. It's the perfect, perfect brown. So I literally just start on the outer corners and kind of run my brush over my eyelid like so. And to be honest, I don't have any rules with this. I just put it on till it looks right. <laughs> and you know, there are so many makeup rules now, especially on Instagram. I feel like when people do these speed looks, they look amazing and they do all this cut crease, but it's just not something you can do every single day. So this kind of look, Keeping it easy, keeping it real. Um, but I just really love how this looks. So as you can see, it's quite smoky. I'm keeping it quite big. Um, but at the corner here, I'm just making sure my brush is going up like this. You don't want to drag your brush down because then it's going to drag your face down a little bit, make your eyes look a bit sad. We want to drag it up like this. And it's just going to lift everything. And I'm actually taking this colour right into the corner um, usually I would kind of put it on the outer corner only, but I actually really like how kind of like a smoky eye looks when it starts in the corner. I, I feel like it's actually more flattering than you think. So I'm just going to grab this brush and pop it on there and just literally put a little bit underneath my eye as well. I think this one just gives it a little bit more depth having it underneath. Like, I really like how that looks. It looks a bit more smoky, a little bit more dramatic without being too over the top. 
I thought since I've got this palette out as well, I might actually run some of the cinnamon sugar over the whole lid because it's kind of like a really nice goldy, like bronzy colour. And I think that would go really well with this eyeshadow. So I've just popped some on my brush. Oh my God, look at that colour. Oh. This kind of reminds me of like Amber Lights from MAC, like back in the day. I love it. So I'm just going to run that over, focusing mostly like on the middle and the outer corner. I just think that's such a pretty combination. So now that I've done my eyeshadow, I'm gonna curl my lashes. I need my mirror a bit closer for this. I'm just gonna run some of this over my lash line. This is the Zoeva Heritage Eye Crayon. <laughs> And this is in shade Mythology. And I'm actually just gonna run this over just to kind of give my lashes a bit of depth but without using a black eyeliner because I'm not fancying that today. Um, so I'm literally just gonna do this. You can do this with any sort of eye crayon, eye pencil, black eyeliner if you're feeling it, but I'm feeling a bit more neutral today. Um, like so. I'm just gonna put a bit underneath as well. I really like this pencil, it's really soft, but it doesn't like, it's not blending super easily, which is good, it means that it will stay put. And I don't know if you can see the difference there, but it's just given a little bit more depth to the eyelashes, and also given a little bit of a, a bit of a shimmer, which I like. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. This is one of my favorite mascaras. Um, the brush is kind of like a plastic brush. So with mascara, because I always want to like make my eyes look bigger, I always put more mascara on the outer corner lashes, like so, and I kind of drag them out a little tiny bit. Not too much, so they feel weird, but just like drag them out. And then I only put a tiny bit on the inner corner, really. As you can see, I think there's a massive difference. And I actually think this mascara makes you look like you've got false eyelashes on anyway. So that is my mascara done. Like I said, it's a really good mascara. Um, I go through mascaras so often because I just love testing them out and trying them out. But that is one of my favorites at the moment. So lastly, to finish off, we're gonna go in with some lipsticks. Um, so I've got this one by Zoella again, by the ColourPop collection. And this is At Me. And then I've got this one by Bobbi Brown, which is the Crushed Liquid Lip. And this is shade Happy Hippie, Sh Hippie Shake. Um, so first I'm gonna go in with the Zoella one, just for a bit of a base color. I really love this color. Because it's quite natural. But there's definitely a bit of color there, and I like that. Yeah, so once I put that on, it's quite a matte product. And then I'm just gonna go over the top with this Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip, which I really like. These are more like a glossy lipstick. But they work really well when you layer. Like so. It's just nice to add over if you want a bit of a shine. And then to finish off, I'm actually gonna use a setting spray. Again, this one is by Pixie. This is the Makeup Fixing Mist. I have been using this one and this one religiously because I got sent them at the same time. Um, but setting sprays can sometimes break me out a little bit. I think it's the fact that they're setting the makeup to my face. Whereas this one, I haven't actually had that problem yet. I haven't had any spots from it. Whether it's just luck, whether my skin likes this a bit more, I don't know, but it's a little bit more gentler than maybe the Urban Decay one that I used to use. I find this one doesn't feel so kind of chemical. It's a bit more natural, I guess. So just gonna literally lightly spray it, like so. You don't need a lot. Feels nice as well. Again, it's a really nice refreshing thing to spray your face, so I really like that. Yeah, that is my daily makeup non-Instagram trendy. And I love it. <laughs> my basic makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too kind of basic for you and stuff that you already know. Obviously, I love introducing you to new products that I love. So from this makeup look, the products that I would definitely, definitely recommend are the CYO foundation. I absolutely love this. I really like the 
Milk Makeup Serum. I think it's definitely something to refresh your skin in the morning and I use this daily. And um, what else do I, to be honest, I like it all. I really like these Pixie Glow Mist and Fixing Spray. Really like those. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see different makeup looks, if you want to see me do some challenges. Maybe you want to see me do some Instagram trend challenges where I literally try my best at contouring and highlight on the tip of my nose. Um, if you want to see that kind of thing, let me know. I've also linked every single thing that I've used in this video down below as well, including this top, which is from Bowden, and I love it. Um, and thank you so much on all the lovely comments on my new hairdo as well. It feels very short today, but I'm really, really liking having short hair again. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna go now before I ramble too much, and this video is about an hour long. Have a lovely day, thanks for watching. If you're not already, please do subscribe, and I'll see you again next time for another video. Bye. Bye.